Math class, a place where some thrive and others struggle. But for some students, math isn't just challenging, it's a battle against something called dyscalculia. What exactly is dyscalculia? It's not just about being bad at math. It's a persistent difficulty in grasping numbers and applying math principles far beyond the usual struggles. Firstly, there are two types. Developmental dyscalculia, which affects children, and acquired dyscalculia, which can happen at any age due to medical conditions. For those with dyscalculia, even simple math like 7 plus 2 or 5 times 3 can feel like an unsolvable puzzle. Dyscalculia and dyslexia are both learning disabilities, but they affect different skills. Dyscalculia impairs math abilities, while dyslexia impacts reading. Dyscalculia affects about 6 to 8% of children, but it's often overlooked compared to dyslexia, despite similar prevalence rates. Symptoms include a difficulty learning arithmetic facts, executing calculations, and poor number sense and subitizing. Subitizing is the ability to instantly recognize the number of objects without actually counting them. From toddlers struggling to count, to high schoolers battling with applying math to everyday life, dyscalculia's impact evolves over time. Math anxiety is real and can worsen dyscalculia symptoms, creating a cycle of fear and avoidance. Dyscalculia often runs in families and involves various cognitive dysfunctions, such as deficits in visual processing and working memory. Left untreated, dyscalculia can lead to emotional distress and difficulties in daily life tasks, affecting everything from shopping to managing appointments. But with understanding, support, and specialized tutoring, children with dyscalculia can conquer their challenges and embrace the world of numbers. Here are two inspiring stories of children who triumphed over their dyscalculia symptoms, showcasing the transformative impact proper treatment can have on their lives. She could count up to 100, but she couldn't count backwards from 100. And that was at age 12, couldn't count backwards, was missing things. So that's where she started. And now she's in doing some high school math. I mean, not a lot, but she's definitely doing high school math. As a 15 year old, she's gained, I don't know, seven, eight years of math in three years, but knows it, knows it solidly. Her sense of numeracy was very impaired when we started with edgy blacks. She really didn't understand that 2000 was a much bigger number than 200. It just, she could do addition, she could do math, you know, she could do subtraction, but it was really on a foundation of sand. And now she really understands that her sense of numeracy is so improved. And we, we can really see it in everything that we do. When we do history, she understands the timelines on a much deeper level now. She can go to a store and understand the price tag and she can understand that $1.99 is a dollar less than $2.99. It clicks for her.